So continuing from the code we started with, um, we have some action that will be done when the drink when the age is greater than or equal to the drinking age. So if we run this again, just as a reminder, uh, it works perfectly fine once we are within the drinking age. But if we are not allowed to drink, then nothing happens. So let's fix that. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to introduce the else construct. Okay, else colon. Okay. So what the else does, it handles the case where this condition turns out to be false. Okay. So down here, we're going to deal with the false case. Okay. So what should we do if this condition turns out to be false? Well, anything we like. So we could say, uh, let's print. Um, one glass of milk coming right up okay great so let's let's run this okay and let's enter an age of uh, let's say 15 and let's say the drinking age is 18 and so we have one glass of milk coming right up as the output. And the reason why it executes line 19 instead of line 16 is because when the condition was computed, it evaluated to false, which means that Python will skip line 16 and will instead execute line 19 okay so this is how we deal with the false case okay so what I want to do um, I want to take this code and in the next video we're going to look at it in Python Tutor so that we get a better understanding of how the false case is taken care of now one thing to keep in mind I could have quite a few lines of code inside the if block or inside the else block. So whatever I want executed in any of them, I need to make sure they have the same alignment or the same indentation. So let's say after printing this statement, I want to do something else. I want to say... Um, want to put a, a sad face okay so if I run this and I put 15 again and I put 18 then notice two things are done okay so the reason why these two things are done is because they are all in the same alignment meaning that they're all four spaces in now, uh, if I decided to put this um, outside here, okay, outside here, right, then I want us to notice what happens, okay, if I enter 15 and I enter 18, we get the sad face, but if I enter 19, and I enter 18, I still get the sad face. And the reason is this sad face is a line that is independent of any of the condition. So this line will execute no matter if the condition is true or false. So the moral of this little example is if you only want something or a set of things to be executed when some condition is true then all of those things must all be lined up um, must all have the same uh, indentation 
okay otherwise they will be executed regardless if it's true or false so what I should have done was to one two three four was to have done that okay so this block of code meaning these two lines of code will be executed if this is true and these two lines of code or this block of code will be executed if the condition is false okay great I will see you in the next video where we take this and look at it in Python Tutor.